seasoning shrimp. Slow steam. We want to keep track of how long we actually steam the shrimp. As you see, it's on medium high. Heat. If your shrimp curls too much, that means it's overcooked. We want the shrimp to stay as loose and limber as possible. We're going to cook garlic bread at 425 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. In my beautiful Copper Chef pot, we are going to saute fresh spinach with minced garlic and onions and Italian seasoning. So this is our premier hand-picked crab meat. I'd like to give a shout out to ShopRite for actually all the products that you see here. And this crab meat, eight ounce, was actually $7.99. Um, so this is gonna be a really good buy for individuals that are interested in making this cream of crab and shrimp Alfredo pasta. Mm -hmm. What we have here is two tablespoons of basil. Basil is gonna bring out a lot of the spunkiness and flavor in the crab. This attaches to the crab and brings out the flavor. We have Italian seasoning, which I use in everything. Italian seasoning, this is one tablespoon and Italian seasoning goes with everything, so you can't go wrong with that. I have the minced garlic. I love fresh minced garlic. If you're not gonna get the fresh garlic, the minced garlic is perfect. That way you save time with actually shaving the garlic yourself. We have Himalayan salt, and we're gonna just use a pinch of this because everything that we're making today has its own natural salts and we don't want to overbury bear it but if you're going to use salt pink himalayan salt is the best please stay away from table salt we have rinaldi classic alfredo so this is going to be the basis of our um, alfredo sauce Okay, we're going to have extra virgin olive oil. We're going to use this in the pot for our um, baby spinach that we put in the pot. And we're going to mix our Wiley cream of crab soup mix with Alfredo. This is going to give it that authentic taste and the creaminess that we're looking for in an alfredo shrimp and crab mix this because i'm a spice girl is after the fact once we plate and have our meal we're going to put a, just a dab of this on top of our shrimp and crab alfredo to give it a little spice okay you could sop up the rest of your sauce with classic garlic toast. We're going to put this in the oven at 425 and it's going to be toast. Texas toast. It's always the best. And it's going to be ready, as it says, in five minutes. Right. So guys, get ready for a delicious Italian favorite.
This is the jumbo raw shrimp that I also picked up from ShopRite. It's a pound and this was a deal as well. I got this for under $20, guys, and we know how expensive shrimp can be. It's even more expensive than crab sometimes. But this is what I suggest if you're making a two to three person meal with the Alfredo tonight. This is our new fruits and vegetable company that our grocery stores here in Maryland are using. They're called Bowl and Basket. They are a really awesome company that gives back to the homeless and feeds um, children that are hungry. So I like to pick up fruits and vegetables that give back to um, charities such as homeless and hungry children. This is baby spinach, and we're going to saute this in our um, beautiful um, pan in just a few minutes. So guys, a lot of people like to use different pastas when they make Alfredo. When you're making a seafood Alfredo, it's very important that you actually pick the right pasta, which is angel hair. Don't use spaghetti. If you're just making shrimp Alfredo, fettuccine is fine. But when you're mixing uh, seafoods, you wanna use the angel hair because both seafoods, uh, shrimp, and crab have their different textures and different tastes. And you don't want the angel hair to overbear that. You wanna be able to taste all the succulent flavors in your pasta. So angel hair is perfect for this type of meal. All right, everybody. So as you see, Our steamed shrimp has gained red in color, or should I say orange in color, and it's shrunk just enough for you to realize that it is ready to pop. What I'm going to do is remove them If we cook them any longer, they will be no good. You'll overcook the shrimp. You ever been to a restaurant where your shrimp was gooey and hard? Yeah. Sorry if you didn't return it because that meant either they cooked it too long or they microwaved it. And you never want to do that with shrimp. You want them to be nice and full. And if they say large or jumbo, which these did, you want them to primarily keep their size. If they shrink dramatically, you know that you've overcooked your shrimp. So I know that a lot of you um, actually break up your pasta before you put it in the pan, but I don't do that. I'm a traditional chick, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour the entire pasta in the already boiled pot. And what we're gonna do is just feed the angel hair pasta into the bowl, I mean the boiling pot of water. We're gonna make sure that all ends are touching the water. Can you see that? All parts of the angel hair is now submerged into the water. While that, we're gonna keep this in here for about 10 minutes. So at this point, food is gonna be moving pretty quickly. We have our main ingredients already cooking and sauteing. 
So we're gonna take our garlic bread and we're gonna just go ahead and maneuver this into the oven. We're gonna put it on the bottom shelf and we're gonna let that cook for 15 minutes, at which point our meal should be finished. We're gonna move our Copper Chef pot onto the heat. We're going to add Bocelis extra virgin olive oil into our pot. You know that you have enough oil once you've went one time around. Notice I just went one time around. We're gonna take our crab meat. We're going to place that into the pan. And because this is only eight ounces, we're gonna use the entire cup. And we're just gonna let that simmer for a minute. We're gonna add a little bit of Old Bay seasoning because that adds to our flavor of the Alfredo, the authentic flavor. And it's a Maryland favorite. Hey, Maryland flavor, Old Bay seasoning. Maryland is known for the crabs. For 75 uh, they're years. One the, they're one of the biggest uh, towns and one of the biggest states in the country for, that's known for their best crabs. Maryland crabs are popular throughout the whole country. We even have our own style of making the crab, crab meat, the crab flavor. And crab sauces and... And just a fun fact, we like to rival our crabs uh, with um, Florida and Louisiana. If I had to say who comes close to Maryland, I would say maybe Louisiana, but nothing beats a Maryland crab. It just has a flavor that no other place has. Right. So we're gonna let this just saute for a minute. We're gonna get all of that great Maryland Old Bay seasoning nice and cooked in there. I'm going to put the top on here for a few minutes while we check on our pasta because that should be ready, folks. Move on over to our pasta. I'm going to just sneak the last two pieces of shrimp in here <laughs> while we go check on the pasta. That way this cooks with the shrimp and hey, gives these shrimps a little more um, flavor. I believe that the angel hair pasta is ready. As I said, it doesn't take long for the pasta to actually cook. It's like making sure that your udon noodles have the proper <laughs> um, texture to it. But as you see, all of the pasta is freely flowing on its own. Mm -hmm. Noodles are done when they are freely flowing on their own, okay? And the old way of knowing is actually, get this guys, Where you gonna throw it? throwing it on the wall. Where you gonna throw it? When it sticks to the wall. Take it out the pan, pot right away. I did it. Did do it. Go, freedom! You did it. Yeah.
that's part of the fun you can have with your folks when you get when you do this. That way you know to take it out of your pan right away. Don't want to overcook your angel hair pasta. You don't want it to turn into mush. Oh, I wish you guys can smell that. So beautiful. All right, cameraman, can you smell that? Now that we've had fun with the pasta, as you see, our crab meat and the two little shrimp are actually cooked to perfection. What I'm gonna do is add this to our shrimp bowl over here. And we're gonna get ready to put our spinach and other um, sauces in here to for the complete product. Take on this. Perfect. Our garlic bread is ready to be taken out. As you see the golden brown edges, look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. All right. Take a tablespoon. This guy's is not a teaspoon, but a tablespoon. We're gonna take a nice, healthy tablespoon of the minced garlic. We're gonna put that in the pot and let that sizzle. Isn't that such a beautiful sound? What I'm gonna do is use a handful of spinach. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there like that. While that is cooking, what we're going to do is use our cream of crab soup. We're just going to go ahead and pour that in there like that. The whole can. Let that simmer. As you see, the spinach is already cooking and cooking down. While this is cooking down, what I'm gonna do is add some of the Alfredo sauce. You're gonna pour that right into the pan. Save some. I'm gonna tell you why later. So put about how much of the jar? We're gonna put about, about half a jar. Half a jar into the sauce. Okay. This is gonna give it its flavor and texture that we're looking for once we put it onto our noodles. Okay guys, that's going to take about um, five minutes, so let's top it and come back. Okay, look at what's happening, folks. You see how that nice, beautiful, succulent, white and brown and green sauce is coming together. What I'm going to do is add our one tablespoon of 
of Italian seasoning, our two tablespoons of basil. Don't, don't feel weird about using your fingers, folks. That's what a cook is all about, as long as they're clean. How about that? You're gonna mix that all up in there. This is going to be the fun part, people. Because what I'm gonna do is take some pasta. And we're gonna add it to the sauce. Add it to the sauce. We're gonna get that in there nice and smooth. <laughs> and let it sop up all the uh, flavor and juices. Yes. So it becomes warm. Yes. And once that is done, look how beautifully that is mixing together. And once that becomes one, we're going to use our crab mix and shrimp. And we're going to just make this the most succulent and the most delicious cream of crab alfredo that you could have ever had along with our spinach. It's never too much shrimp or never too much crab, guys. Get it in there. We want that to submerge into the sauce. Before you know it, dinner is served. Thank you guys for joining me. I know. So I'm sorry guys. I can't even finish the show. It's so good. Mm. 
like, share, leave a comment. Stay tuned for more of my 30 minute and under meals.